All right, Brewers Spring Training Day 11. We start off with a doubleheader, and Jackson Sherio would hit a single for a base hit. Monasterio would get the first out. Tyler Black would fly out to center. Christian Arroyo would get an RBI double plus a throwing error by Luke Maley. Owen Miller would get the third out. Bryce Wilson throws a 1-2-3. One, 1-2-3 two, three. One, two, three strikes, you're out! 1-2-3 strikes, you're out! 1-2-3 three strikes, you're out! The Brewers would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Joey Ortiz reach in on error. The Reds would have a practical 1-2-3. But we gotta key in on something. Why does it say 2-2-3 two, two, instead of 1-2-3 for the outs? The Brewers would get a 1-2-3. One, 1-2-3 two, three. One, two, three strikes are out! 1-2-3 three strikes are out! 1-2-3 three strikes are out! The Reds would get 1-2-3. One, 1-2-3 two, three. One, two, three strikes are out! 1-2-3 three strikes are out! 1-2-3 three strikes are out! Christian Arroyo would strike out. There would be two singles and a double play. Trevor McGill would come into the game, TJ Friedel would strike out, Will Benson would hit single, then Noelvin Marte would hit a double play. Former Brewer Brent Suter would be replacing Brandon Williamson. Jefferson Carroll would strike out. Chris Roller would hit a double. Then Jackson Cherio would strike out. Then Andrew Monasterio would get an RBI single. Then Brent Suter would pick off Monasterio for the third out. J.B. Bukowskis would come into the game and give up a practical 1-2-3 except for a Jake Fraley double. The Brewers would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Tyler Black single. Brewer substitutions plus Jared Koenig for J.B. Bukowskis. The Reds would go 1-2-3. One, 1-2-3 two, three. One, two, three strikes are out! 1-2-3 three strikes are out! 1-2-3 three strikes are out! A whole list of substitutions plus Lucas Sims for Brett Suter. Joey Ortiz would hit a single out to short. Then the Brewers would have a 1-2-3 right after that. 1-2-3 strikes are out! 1-2-3 strikes are out! 1-2-3 strikes are out! Harold Chirino would replace Jared Koenig and a whole bunch of other substitutions. The Reds would go 1-2-3. 1-2-3 strikes are out! 1-2-3 strikes are out! 1-2-3 strikes are out! Justin Brewhill would come in for Lucas Sims. Then the Brewers would go 1-2-3. One, 1-2-3 two, three. One, two, three strikes are out! 1-2-3 strikes are out! 1-2-3 strikes are out! Newly acquired Kevin Hergett would replace Harold Chirino, then Darian Miller would replace Jefferson Caro. The Reds would have a practical 1-2-3 except for an Austin Wynn single. Brooks Krisky would replace Justin Brewhill, and then the Brewers would go 1-2-3. 1-2-3 one, three. One, two, three strikes are out! One, two, three strikes are out. One, two, three strikes are out. Wes Clark would stay at DH, and then Justin Yeager would replace Kevin Hergett. To end out the first game of the doubleheader, the Reds would have a practical one, two, three, except for a Bubba Thompson single. The Brewers win two to nothing. The Brewers perspective Brewers player of the game goes to Christian Arroyo. Let's head into game two. Game two starting off with a Stephen Kwan ground out, then an Andres Jimenez hit by pitch. Tyler Freeman would have an RBI double, putting up the Guardians up early, one to nothing. Bo Naylor and Brian Rocchio would ground out. The Brewers would go one, two, three in the first. One, two, three strikes are out. One, two, three strikes are out. One, two, three strikes are out. The first two outs would be by a Kyle Manzardo strikeout and a Devison De Los Santos flyout. Chase DeLauter would get walked, and then Angel and Martinez would get an RBI triple, making it 2 nothing Guardians. Steven Kwan would get the third out on a strikeout. The Brewers would have a practical 1-2-3, except for two singles and a double play. Andres Jimenez would ground out the first. Tyler Freeman would single, then he'd be caught stealing. Bo Naylor would strike out. Scott Barlow would replace Tristan McKenzie. Bryce Terang would get walked, then he'd steal second base. Oliver Dunn would get walked, and then there would be a double steal. Eric Haas would strike out. Garrett Mitchell would be hit by a pitch. Then William Contreras would strike out. Tyler Zuber would come in and ground out Christian Yelich. Yoel Piams would replace Colin Ray. Brian Rocchio would reach on an error. Kyle Manzardo would hit a single. DeVace and De Los Santos would strike out. A chase to allow to RBI single would make it 3-0 Guardians. Angel Martinez would pop up, then Stephen Kwan would ground out. Cookie would come in for Tyler Zuber. 
then the Brewers would go one, two, three. One, two, three strikes are out. One, two, three strikes are out. One, two, three strikes are out. Taylor Clark would replace Will Piomps. Taylor Clark would throw a one, two, three. One, two, three strikes are out. One, two, three strikes are out. One, two, three strikes are out. Dom Nunez would replace Bo Naylor. Bryce Turing would ground out back to Carlos Carrasco for the first out. Oliver Dunn would hit a single. Eric Haas would hit a two-run home run, making it 3-2 to two Guardians. Garrett Mitchell would get walked. William Contreras would line out to short. Christian Yelich would get walked. Trey Benton would replace Carlos Carrasco, and Luis Lara would replace Christian Yelich. Jake Bowers would get the third out. Brewer substitutions. Brian Rocchio would hit a single. Jose Tenya would replace Brian Rocchio. Taylor Clark would throw another 1-2-3. One, 1-2-3 two, three. One, two, three strikes are out. 1-2-3 strikes are out. 1-2-3 three strikes are out. Whole list of substitutions, and why is Carlos Carrasco replacing Trey Benton? It makes no sense. Eric Brown Jr. would hit a pop-up to the catcher. Joey Weimer would hit a single out to left. A Bryce Durang fielder's choice would go into a Oliver Dunn ground out, making it tied up at three. Then Cade Smith replaces Carlos Carrasco, even though he's supposed to replace Trey Benton? Eric Haas would hit a fly out to left. Brewer Hicklin would be playing at right, and Yanni Hernandez would be playing at short. The Guardians would go 1-2-3. One, 1-2-3 two, three. One, two, three strikes are out! 1-2-3 strikes are out! 1-2-3 three strikes are out! Whole list of substitutions, then Eli Morgan for Cade Smith. Garrett Mitchell would hit a ground out to first. William Contreras would hit a double, then Lamar Sparks would replace him. Luis Lara would strike out. Jake Bowers would get walked. My friend Ernesto Martinez would replace Jake Bowers. Eric Brown would strike out. Brewer substitutions plus Rob Sastrisny for Taylor Clark. The Guardians would go 1-2-3. One, 1-2-3 two, three. One, two, three strikes are out! 1-2-3 strikes are out! 1-2-3 strikes are out! Tim Heron would replace Eli Morgan. Then the Brewers would go 1-2-3. One, 1-2-3 two, three. One, two, three strikes are out! 1-2-3 strikes are out! 1-2-3 strikes are out! Ninth inning and Enoli Paredes would replace Rob Zastrzyzny. Enoli would go 1-2-3. One, 1-2-3 two, three. One, two, three strikes are out! 1-2-3 strikes are out! 1-2-3 strikes are out! One, two, Eric Sabrowski would replace Tim Heron in the bottom of the ninth. The Brewers would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Lamar Sparks walk. And the Brewers would have a tie. There was no Brewers protective Brewers player of the game for the second game. If you like, because you hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in some more string training videos.